I don't know where I was going, I had no housing, and they're the type of people that um, really are sincere about helping you. Without this place, I probably would have had no idea what to do, wouldn't have had as much support, because my family's support's not the greatest, so you have to look to other alternatives. To me, the Living Rock is a place that helped me get a job and put my life back together, because when I came down here, I wasn't really heading nowhere. So the reason why I came down here was to do something, and ever since I came here, to put me in the right track. Living Rock really, I believe, is an extension of God's grace for, for the widow, the alien, the orphan, and uh, for the street youth, who uh, are those that have been kind of rejected by society and have lost hope and uh, in a lot of ways, unable to find employment, unable to find a place in society. Well, Living Rock uh, started in uh, 1985, and uh, it was a vision that, um, that I had that uh, my wife and I shared. We started in the library. We had uh, coffee houses. We would bring bands in, and we would go downtown, do a lot of street work, and invite the youth in. We had a storefront for three years, and then we rented St. Paul's. We thought we'd be there six months, and we were there 10 years. And then in 2000, we got this building. We had a real estate agent that was searching for a building for us. He was a retired police officer who really knew the need in the downtown. And he was searching for a building for us. We didn't really have any money. And the guy who owned the building said, I know about you guys. And my wife, who's a God-fearing woman, said, whatever you guys ask for the building for, that's what I have to give it to you for. And that's when I joined Al to come on um, um, full time. And that's when we started our, our real formal um, sponsorship of our work programs. Our Tri Rock program, for example, is uh, incredible success. We've had youth that have been, you know, without hope, without job, with on the streets, get redirected and um, be able to become productive members of society. So it's incredible. Myself, I was a squeegee kid in Toronto, and believe it or not, and right now I have a great apartment. Um, I have a full-time working job and it's all because somebody decided to give me a chance. The tri -Rock program is a program designed to get youth off the streets into stable housing, employment, as well as looking at life skills. So youth are spending eight weeks on site with us at Living Rock, going through what it means to have a work ethic, all those very important things, um, looking at anger, anything that could potentially be an employment barrier. And, and using work, I think what's happening is youth are getting a vision for their lives and they're seeing that there's a reason they're on this planet and there's a job for them to do, that they're not just sort of unwanted, unneeded. I'd probably, you know, be living, you know, on the streets, sleeping outside, or if not, dead. Like, I've almost been stabbed living outside. So, you know, it's... These kind of places are a really good, a really good thing to have. It's a place of refuge for sure, but it's also um, a lot of staff. We have a great team, a leadership team, a great team of staff, a lot of volunteers. We've had students come in that are even from like a little country, from a little town. They don't know nothing about homelessness because they, you know, they've had a good family, they've been raised good, you know. But yet when they see what's actually going on, it touches them. And they're like, man, that's rough. Maybe I can help them. And it's lots of youth. I mean, we're getting 50 to 70 youth at breakfast. Youth are working all day in our work programs and then part of our evening program as well. So there's a lot of activity. I think it's an awesome place for teens. Like, pretty much if you need a meal or anything like that, they're always there to help you out. If you need food for your place, the food bank's always there for you or whatever. So it's pretty cool. This food bank is the only youth-focused food bank in Hamilton. And what I mean by that is, is it's totally driven for youth, um, by youth. I mean, accessing a food bank sometimes can be very embarrassing. Um, it can be tough to do. And so to create an environment where they feel comfortable, but also where they have choice. We really do need people to come alongside as um, monthly givers. I mean, I think that that makes a huge difference because that's our core budget. That's how we fund. Without the building, without core staff, we couldn't do the work we're doing. The core scripture of our ministry is James 1.27, where it says, Pure and undefiled religion is to visit orphans and widows in their distress and to keep yourself pure in the eyes of the world. And that's really what we're about, is to go to the streets where the youth are to visit them, to be part of their life, to help them to get established, help them to get redirected. This place is a family. It's, uh, it's, 
it's a family because you can tell them anything and they're willing to um, not give up on you and, and keep walking with you, saying I'll always be there for you no matter what. I feel like God's heart is for the youth downtown and the youth who are drawn to the core and to be able to be part of something that God is doing here is just, it's been a privilege.